It's probably the last probably two years, I'd say. Um, it was when we started Made to Measure events down in, in Cork, and it was probably at that stage that we kind of started to look at the option of a store. I've been down here, I'd say, once every three to four weeks, say, over the last kind of two years, working with architects and designers and the different people that are involved in the, in the project. It does feel like a, a second home at this stage. My grandfather, actually, was from Lithuania. He was Jewish. The story goes that he got on the boat he was going to New York, but ended up in Cork. He, he was a tailor, he was a trouser maker. My aunt was a trouser maker and my father was a tailor and cutter. I was probably eight or nine, ten, and I would have been in the workshop sweeping the floor or pulling the tacking treads out or whatever. I left school when I was 14, then I went to technical school in Parnell Square for two years for tailoring and textiles. I would have come into the business when I was 16 years of age. I would have been on the shop floor, I would have been in the workshop, I would have been sewing or, you know, learning my trade or whatever. And then I worked with my father until he died. Probably the tips I learned from my father would be the customer is king. I mean, you know, you look after the customer, you, you make sure he's happy, you make sure you deliver. You don't get it right all the time, but you do your best. The cock opening like is kind of a little bit of history, I suppose. I mean, my father worked in Roach's stores, he was cutter there. It's kind of gone back to a little bit of roots there, so, you know, it's very exciting kind of opening up in Cork. The staff is the most important part of a retail business, and you know, for some reason we are very lucky with staff. Nigel O'Sullivan, as you know, is going to be the manager in there. I looked at him and I can see, there's me 30 years ago. He has the same haircut as I have, and probably the same type of personality. I think he's going to be brilliant. They say I look very like him. I've worked on Whitlow Street and uh, I've been mistaking a lot on Whitlow Street for Louis. Going up the stairs with a, an American recently selling him a suit and he was saying, uh, are you the owner? And I said, no, 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 but thank God they're younger photographs of Louis. Jeez, I'm very excited to get started, you know. Sometimes you're kind of sitting there, it's like sitting on the sidelines in, in a football match and you're dying to come on, you know, so this is part of it now, you know, so I can't wait to get involved. Being in charge of a, a brand like Louis and Cork, it's a great compliment, you know. Cape Street is like my baby, like me, you might say. I'm a bit like a fish out of water when I go to Dundrum or Wicklow Street. I'm here since I was about eight or nine years of age, so you kind of get used to a place. I don't have an office as such. I mean, my office is on the, on the floor. I'm a great believer that people should stick to what they know. Louis Jr., he's very much involved in the Cork store. I mean, he's big into design. That's his forte. This is one part of, of retail that I, I really love. I've been involved in all the projects we've done over the kind of last 15, 20 years. But I'd say this has probably been the hardest out of, out of all of them. It's amazing effort, like really to believe in it, number one, and to really go for it. And I think they're really after going for it with this building, you know, it's really, really right. Right location as well, of course. We had to bring the doves down to lift the boxes and lift the suits for us because we wouldn't be able to lift them. <laughs> I know they're doing a great job with us, aren't they? We'd be lost without them. It's been a long, long six weeks, but nearly there now. We're here to save the customer, yeah. Our bread and butter is with the ordinary people of Dublin and Ireland, and they're our bread and butter. They're, that's the lifeline. In Louis Copeland's shop, we have the experience, we have the knowledge. I mean, the staff know what they're doing, and that doesn't happen everywhere. I think we're delivering something special in Ireland. I think it'll be the nicest menswear store anyway in the country. It might not be the biggest store, but I think with the finishes and the detail, I think it will be probably the nicest store in Ireland.